I'm Gupta. Sadhguru, my question is, intellectually and logically we understand, but practically we find a lot of uh, gaps. Can, can we get some tips from your in, inner engineering <laughs> on how to go about it? Okay. Shall we do a simple experiment? Are you okay? Simple experiment? The guinea or oh, these are days of the flu. So, anyway, we'll experiment. I want you to sit with your spine erect hmm? and your legs uncrossed. What you do is you keep your… the five fingers of your hand together. Place it gently placed upon your thigh, gently. Do not press down, very gently place. Don't do it yet, I'll tell you what to do but do not do it yet. We will do this with our eyes closed. With your eyes closed, holding your hand this way, you just breathe slightly deeper than normal. And as you're doing this, I will say switch. When I say switch, the hand this is this way, just slowly turn it over without breaking the rhythm of your breathing. Again, when I say switch, get it back into this position. In these two positions, something about your breath will change. The way the air fills up into your lung or the maximum expansion and contraction, something about it will alter itself. I want you to notice what's happening. Please hold your five fingers together, gently placed upon the thigh, eyes closed. Unless your spine is erect and eyes closed, you will not notice it. Just breathe slightly deeper than normal, just inhalation, exhalation a few times. Switch. Switch again. Please, please open your eyes. Do you notice some change in your breath? Can someone say what? When it's this way, where is the maximum expansion? Could you notice that? Hmm? Where is this? Okay. What's happening, I will tell you. Just do one breath and you will notice this. When you hold the palm facing down, the maximum expansion and contraction is in the lower lobe of the lung, so you notice it in the diaphragm region. If you turn this around, it is shifting to the middle lobe of the lung, so you notice it higher up in the chest. Just take one breath and see, you will notice this. Is that so? Just turning your hand over, the very way you breathe is altering itself. This is not just about the breath. The very fundamental life energies in the system are altering itself just because you turn your hand over. How many times in a day unconsciously are you Now you keep on doing this, now you're setting your energies into your turmoil and hoping to be peaceful. Life doesn't work like that. This is like you got into your car, you don't know what these two pedals are, you just kick any one of them whenever you feel like it. You know what a jerky driver you will be. Right now your well-being is very jerky, please see this. It is not that you do not know peace, it is not that you do not know joy, it is not that you do not know blissfulness. The problem is it's not sustainable, isn't it? Isn't it so? This is like… Are you okay for a joke? You very serious question but… Uh, on a certain day, this happened in Michigan. An old timer decided to go ice fishing. You know, this is one of the things in Michigan because almost five months it is snowing and the Great Lakes freeze and uh, people go sit on it, cut a hole and fish because there's still water beneath the ice sheet. So an old timer went fishing. When you go fishing, it's not um, totally about, solely about fish. So he took a can of beer, sat there. The cans got empty he, through the day. He went and sat at nine, at ten in the morning. So almost four o'clock, the crate got empty, he was little dizzy, 
but no fish in the basket. Then at four in the evening, a boy from the downtown area with a big boom box on his shoulders with blaring rap music came driving like that. Came, sat close by, cut a hole and sat down, fishing. The old timer looked at him. No fool like a young fool. I'm sitting here for the whole day, quietly fishing, not a single fish. The fool comes in the evening, the sun is about to set and with this blaring music, is he going to catch fish? No fool like a young fool. You know, the young people think the other way around but <laughs> Then, within ten minutes to his amazement, the boy caught a big trout. He looked. Then he dismissed, okay, a flash in the pan, nonsense, and he focused on his fishing. In another ten minutes, the boy landed one more trout. Now he couldn't ignore him. He sat there watching the boy. The boy was listening to blaring music, jiving, and like this. And another ten minutes he caught one more trout. Now he couldn't ignore this anymore. He kept his pride aside, slowly walked up to the boy and asked, See, I have been sitting here since morning. I haven't landed a single fish. You just came, in thirty minutes you got three. What is the secret? The boy turned on the music a bit and said, Rura ra ra ru ra 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 I said, what? The boy again repeated, Roo ra 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 roo ra 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 He said, I don't understand. He said, wait. And then he spat out a blob of something into his hands and said, you have to keep the worms warm. <laughs> Unless you do the right things, the right things will not happen to you. <laughs> So, uh, because the, the, the technology is subjective, it's about you. See, if it was about something else, I would have written a book and given it to you. Because this is about you. You are the object and you are the subject. So here, it needs a different level of focus. Right now, your whole focus is outward in the sense, right now you're the way you perceive life is through five sense organs – seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching. This is the way you know life, isn't it so? If these five faculties shut down, you will have no experience of life. For example, right now if you dozed off a bit – that's not instruction. If you dozed off a bit, suddenly in your experience I will disappear, for sure. Everybody around you will disappear and you will also disappear. Isn't it so? You fell asleep for a moment, the world disappeared and you also disappeared. Everything is going on but in your experience everything is gone. Simply because the five sense organs have shut down. So these five sense organs are the basis of your experience right now and they are essentially outward bound. You can see what is around you. You can't roll your eyeballs inward and scan yourself. You can hear that. So much activity in this body, you cannot hear that. Even something as small as an ant crawls upon this, you can feel it. So much blood flowing, can you feel it? In the very nature of things, your sense organs are outward bound. But the basis of your experience, the seat of your experience, the source of your experience is within you. Right now, do you see me, sir? Do you see me? Hmm? Where am I? Tell me. You must point it out. Where am I? Ah, you got it wrong. You know I'm a mystic <laughs> See, right now this light is falling upon me, reflecting going through your lenses, inverted image in the retina. Don't you know the whole story? Where do you see me right now? Where do you see me? Within you, isn't it? Where do you hear me right now? Within you. Where have you seen the whole world? Within you. 
have you ever experienced anything outside of yourself? The light and darkness has happened within you. Your joy and misery has happened within you. Your agony and ecstasy can only happen within you. You have never experienced anything outside of yourself. Your pain and pleasure has happened within you, isn't it so? So your whole experience is within, but your five sense organs are outward bound. So if you have to turn this inward a little bit, if you have to have an inner faculty to focus on the inward nature of who you are, it takes a different level of focus. Everything, these five sense organs are very essential for your survival, so they get turned on when you're born. But if you want to do anything beyond survival, it takes a little bit of striving, otherwise it will not come to you, isn't it? Anything beyond survival, it takes a bit of striving, otherwise it won't happen. So this inner striving has not happened, that's all. I would say, if you are willing to give twenty-eight to thirty hours of focused time, we can turn on a different level of perception which is very inward, that's all it takes. Twenty-eight to thirty hours of committed focused time. We usually format this in three days, four days according to people's convenience, but essentially that's how much time it takes for you to have a simple mechanism to activate a perception which is not outward, which is inward. Once you know what is happening within you, once you are conscious of how it is functioning within you, I am sure you will create pleasantness for yourself.